Women's History Month began in 1981 when Congress authorized the President to proclaim Women's History Week. The celebration paid tribute to the generations of women whose commitment to nature and the planet proved invaluable to society. Petty Officer Tony DeFilippo tells us how sailors commemorated Women's History Month in Sasebo, Japan. On a sunny Saturday morning, sailors and dependents from Fleet Activity Sasebo are headed on a hike with a special purpose in mind. Today uh, we decided to come together with the CPOA and the uh, Multiculture Committee in honoring uh, Women History Month. Uh, I think it was a great opportunity uh, to get out and we hike and we push each other and everybody like came together as a team. Before the hike, the group sat down to learn about women's history. As a result of, the phenomen of these phenomenal women, the territory of Wyoming passes the first women's suffrage law. And for some Navy women, that history is something that they don't take for granted. I feel like I am um, the result of all the hard work and the struggle that women in the past have done and, and everything they've done to make it possible for us to be where we are today. But the women weren't the only ones who felt strongly about the meaning behind the hike. My mother served in the, in the military in the 70s and the opportunities that my wife who is also in the military have today is because of women like my mother and women before my mother who uh, never complained, who done their job and uh, served their country with honor. Sailors come from every walk of life and March is a chance to reflect on the contributions of women throughout history. It was really good to be a part of this and um, I'm, uh, I'm proud to be a woman. Petty Officer Tony DeFilippo, Fleet Activity Sasebo, Japan.